Hello guys, uh, in this video we'll be learning about the carbon arc lamp. Well, light sources that are used are basically divided into four categories. They are arc lamps, high temperature lamps, gaseous discharge lamps and fluorescent tube lamps. The type of lamp that is carbon arc lamp is one of the uh, many types of arc lamps. So arc lamps are those lamps which give out light uh, by producing an arc between two electrodes or between two substances. High temperature uh, lamps are those lamps which emit light when heated and gaseous discharge lamps as the name suggests is uh, you might have probably heard of gaseous discharge lamps like sodium vapor lamps, mercury vapor lamps and uh, we still use them in street lights and fluorescent tubes are something which I really do, don't have to mention because we use them in our houses all way. So, uh, let's uh, come down to our lamp, which is the carbon arc lamp. Uh, to begin with, this is one of the earliest types of lamps, and it is still used in cinema projectors. So, this lamp essentially consists of two carbon electrodes, and when these electrodes are, uh, you know, given a supply, connected to positive and negative, say this is a DC supply. So as these two arcs, uh, as these two electrodes are subjected to DC supply of uh, most of the times it's greater than 45 volts. So from the positive electrode particles, carbon particles keep moving and they get deposited on the negative electrode. So these two electrodes they become incandescent. So when this happens, when you when you move these two electrodes, say, uh, when you move them to a distance of two to three mm, when they're slightly pulled away from each other, then an arc is formed. So this arc is what causes the light. So in this process carbon particles from the first electrode or the positive electrode get deposited on the negative electrode. So because of that after a lot of use the positive electrode becomes hollow and the negative electrode becomes pointed just like a pencil so this is how they're gonna become like these two carbon electrodes both of them are responsible for emitting light the positive carbon electrode gives around 85 percent of light and the negative electrode gives around 10% of the light and the remaining 5% is given out by air. So this is how the light is given out by the electrodes. And the temperature of the positive electrode is around 3500 degree centigrade and the negative electrode is around 2500 degree centigrade. Now Oftentimes, uh, the cross section of the positive electrode is larger and it's made twice that of the negative one because the positive electrode, in due course of time, it gets eroded and it gets deposited on the negative electrode. So, because of that, the positive electrode is made larger. Apart from that, there are a few things you might want to consider. 
because except in small lamps and automatic devices usually needed to adjust the space between the two electrodes because these automatic devices um, are used to maintain the distance between the electrodes so as the carbon is fed into the negative electrode and as the carbon on the positive slowly abrodes you might uh, want to adjust the distance so every now and then so those are automatic devices which read how much of distance has to be covered and they do it and one more thing to realize is that the carbon arc is unstable so in order to make it stable we need to provide a resistance so why do we have to provide a resistance it's a simple question that can be answered like this so when the current increases the vaporization of carbon increases so the resistance decreases and so does the product of current and resistance that is voltage so voltage drop occurs because voltage is nothing but I and R so the resistance is going down so the voltage drop also decreases which is under undesirable and uh, because that will lead to low efficiency so a desirable carbon arc lamp is designed like this these are the positive and negative electrodes and the positive electrode is connected to a resistance So this is how carbon arc lamp works and this is how it's constructed. So this this you provide a resistance in case of a DC supply however in case of an AC supply you might want to provide it with an inductor. So this is all about the carbon arc lamp Hope you have found it informative and useful and if you have an exam soon, all the very very best. Thank you and have a lovely day.